what's good what's good welcome back to invest and trade with jacks hope you're doing well good afternoon from canada i'm back mostly i'm here to visit my mama no matter how far i travel i'll always come back to see her if you have a mama and she raised you she is the reason you are where you are right now so make sure no matter how far you are from her to come back pay her a visit so i'm going to be here for four weeks spend some time with the fam mostly with her and uh, then be off for my next adventure. But we're gonna go over our friend Bitcoin. I've uh, been traveling the last two days on flights, uh, but we have broken the range, which is, ex which is exciting. We're following our bull market fractal absolutely beautifully, so I wanna show you that to, the, to you guys. I'm always giving signals in the Discord, updating in the Discord, so make sure to join. There'll be more information on that at the end of the video, just for days that I might be away um, from physically making content. So the price of BTC is at 30.1K, we broke 30K. Very exciting, up 3.3 on the day. See, Mark Cabo, 583 billion. 24 hour volume, 23 billion. Uh, so let's hop into the charts. We're gonna start here with our weekly fractal. I've been talking about this fractal in many videos as well as posting about it in the Discord. In April of 2019, we consolidated for exactly three weeks right above almost above the 55 as well these emas three weeks consolidation then we broke out april 2023 back above the emas exactly three weeks of consolidation and now we're breaking out so if we continue to follow this fractal then we will see upside continuation doesn't mean it has to happen uh, but so far it's creepy similar um, and I don't see anybody else talking about that. So make sure to smash the like button if you appreciate the content. And we're about to have the weekly cross of the 20 over the 55, which is a bull market signal that is yet to fail and should print in the next couple of weeks, unless we see a massive dump. Of course, anything is possible. Um, looking at the daily time frame, everything's looking fine. Indicators are looking okay. We have a bearish divergence on the money flow, but it really depends if price just continues to go up. As you can see, we just consolidated for three weeks Weeks, we bounced right off the 20 EMA and we finally broke out of this range. So your next big resistance is up here at about 32,000. Looking at the wave count, uh, we bounced beautifully off our wave two pullback zone. My number one tool in trading is Elliott Wave. It's the most accurate in my opinion. No um, technical analysis is perfect. There's always going to be times where wave counts get invalidated, but you can see just how accurate it could be. We predicted this wave two pullback. Uh, we predicted seeing the bounce from this pullback zone, and that's exactly what we've seen. We've seen a beautiful five-way move to the upside, likely um, completing the wave three. Now, depending on where we bounce, if we bounce from here, your wave five target would be 31.6, which would complete this larger wave three here in orange. Uh, but we will give a retracement zone for this wave four pullback ticket from the bottom of the wave two all the way up to the top. Yeah, we haven't even met the minimum target yet. So our, our normal retracement in between the 0.236 and the 0.5, maximum retracement is the 0.5. So this is where we're looking for our wave four pullback in between 29.7, max retracement 29K. If you break that level, it's no longer a wave four and we have to readjust the wave count. Of course, you could just continue to break up from here, there's no promises that this is where we stop. But as you can see, we have a bearish divergence on the hourly as well as money is flowing out. So I do think this pullback could come relatively soon. Um, looking at the Dow Jones, beautiful retest off this descending triangle. As I mentioned, I said if we bounce here, high likelihood that the Dow Jones is going to see continuation up to this yellow box. So do watch for that, just printing the bullish cross on the four hour time frame let's take a look at the daily yeah we're just about to print the bullish cross on the daily for the dow as well as you can see we retested this descending broadening wedge we've seen a massive bounce so this is looking pretty good um, on the dow jones so that's it for this update i mean everything we've been predicting has been playing out beautifully absolutely love to see it so now we just look for that wave uh, four pullback zone in between 29.7 29k and uh, just watch this weekly fractal closely because if it continues, you're going to see continuation to the upside, likely to the 37.5 to about 48K range. That doesn't mean we can't pull back to the EMAs first, uh, but if we just follow this fractal, you can see it was a straight breakout all the way up to the next major level of resistance. So we'll have to see how that plays out. 
So make sure to sign up to one of the exchanges, either Bitget or Bybit. This is how you get completely free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. And if you make your first deposit, I'll give you a 30-day free trial of my $10 a month membership. Trade signals analysis. Currently, we're in a trade, a Gala Games trade, which is in profits. And I give all types of signals and analysis that can be very helpful. And you can have 30 days for free if you make your first deposit. Crypto news, members like to post their profits in here. You can see what I'm doing with my Huddle Alt plays as well. Um, it's 10 bucks a month if you want to sign up directly and you don't want to make your first deposit on one of the exchanges, check out the Patreon link. Um, otherwise, head over to one of the exchanges and uh, you can check out my full link tutorials if you're new. And yeah, that's about it for this one. It's good to be back home in Canada and I'll see you in the next video. Smash the like button. Much love. Take care.